Thousands of people are making their way to Mosaic for the Queen City concert event of the summer. Also, an RCMP officer is stripped of his order of merit after being reprimanded for disgraceful conduct. Do we reprimand our own? Absolutely, we will. And the Saskatchewan government says it's willing to fund trials for a controversial MS treatment. Give a yes. From the Global Regina Studios, the evening news with Jill Morgan. has been mounting all day for the biggest concert event of the summer. In just a couple of hours, Bon Jovi will rock Mosaic Stadium in front of more than 30,000 fans. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us tonight. It is the day Bon Jovi fans have been waiting for. The New Jersey Rockers are set to put on quite the show tonight as their circle tour rolls into Regina. This afternoon as crews put the finishing touches on the concert, our cameras were given a special tour. This giant video wall is one of the highlights of the show. And then backstage behind a black curtain is Bon Jovi's dressing room. And finally, what would a rock concert be without a guitar? Lots and lots of guitars that will be used during the show were all out on display this afternoon. Bon Jovi has performed for more than 34 million people around the world with thousands of tour dates. His music has undoubtedly impacted his fans. Tonight our Heather Anderson looks back to 1989, the last time he was in the Queen City and how that tour changed the future for one Saskatchewan couple. Wild hair and classic rock music. That's exactly how Michelle and Jim Weems remember Bon Jovi's concert in Regina back in 1989. But what they didn't know is how that concert would truly rock their lives. I was just going to have some fun with the girls and, you know, see a band that we all idolized back then, you know, listen to the music. I never once thought that my life would change that night. But it did. I just looked right at her and said, oh, that's a good idea. Hi, I'm Jim. Two kids, a rock and roll band, but a connection far deeper than a high school crush. Partway through the Skid Row concert, I looked over and he wasn't there anymore. And I realized he was standing right beside me. Within minutes, we were holding hands and... Now the two have been together for 21 years. After 13 years of marriage, three kids, and a collection of Bon Jovi memorabilia, it's a story they love to tell. We always kind of have this argument back and forth that who grabbed whose hand. He said, well, you grabbed my hand. No, I didn't. You grabbed my hand. No, I didn't. As Bon Jovi takes the stage in the Queen City once again, this time the couple plans on holding hands at a show that's much more than just a concert. It's something to celebrate our, our whole lives together, how much our lives have changed from back then when we're just two silly kids from high school. While bringing a flood of memories back to the place where it all began. Tonight's very special for us. I mean, it's, it's a celebration, it's an anniversary, it's 20 years of happiness. Heather Anderson, Global News. Another Saskatchewan couple also shares a strong love for Bon Jovi. <laughs> After years of listening to the music, Shara and Blaine Miller named their son after the star-studded rocker. This little guy's name is Jovi. They say they made the decision after seeing Bon Jovi perform in concert in Calgary in 2007 and say it is a perfect fit for their family. I just think it's such a cool name and it just reflects how much we like the band. And so, yeah, we decided to do it. And he was a little boy and it kind of just worked out perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And he looks like he'll be a little heartbreaker, a little cutie. Well, a reminder, if you are heading to the big show tonight, you may want to leave your car at home. A number of streets around Mosaic Stadium will be closed to vehicles tonight. Concert goers are being urged to take shuttle buses from the Norman View, Northgate, Southland, or Victoria Square Mall parking lots. The buses run every 15 minutes, starting at 5. You're watching the Evening News with Jill Morgan.